we'd like to tell you an authentic story. If you have doubts about the world and feel the best values have been falling away, we offer a reminder that there are places where they are being defended, taught, and advocated for. And if you ever wonder what a company's purpose is, well, we'd like to tell you about ours. A great brand doesn't just materialize, it is the product of a journey. A path taken, step by step. It starts with a vision of how to make something new and better. Ours is one of those stories, and it starts with our founder, Glenn Eberly. Growing up in a place of hard winters and deep snows in the mountains of rural Idaho. As a young man, Glenn came under the instruction of a Scandinavian skiing master who taught him efficiency, focus, perseverance, and plain hard work. He became strong and an exceptional marksman, pursuing the grueling sport of biathlon. He went all the way competing in the Olympic Games, but he didn't just compete. He revolutionized his sport by reinventing the rifle that the U.S. team was carrying. He took four pounds off the gun, and instantly, the athlete could ski much faster. Americans started winning medals, and the Eberly stocks at the Olympic weight standard that stands unto this day. The best steps on a journey are not always the obvious ones. Ski racing led Glenn to join the military which led to his becoming a fighter pilot in the United States Air Force. Flying fighters opened a new realm of excellence, teamwork, and perseverance. He flew the wild weasel into combat in hostile skies. He applied his marksmanship skills with the cannon and the A-10 Warthog. As a forward air controller, he developed an appreciation for the needs of the troops on the ground. Soon, he would find ways to support them that he would never have imagined. All the while, Glenn was a hunter. His idea of adventure was being solo in the middle of the Frank Church wilderness in pursuit of bull elk. Tracking elk took him in and out of canyons, up and down mountains, and many miles in the course of a day. Often this would leave him far from the nearest trail, with a great bull elk at his feet. In the early days, hunting gear was fairly primitive, so it wasn't long before Glenn identified something that could be made better. And here is where our theme becomes clear. This is about making things better, for that is the American way to fill an unmet need, to design something that needs to exist, to make things better. Soon, new kinds of backpacks were born, and new ways of carrying rifles and bows were developed. Limits were tested. The Eberly Stock Company became Eberly Stock, and started making gear that set new standards of quality, complexity, durability, comfort, and the ability to fill a real-world purpose. A gear revolution was underway. Meanwhile, our country was at war. There were rumors about American snipers getting hit because they were carrying scoped rifles exposed to view. Eberly Stock provided them a new kind of bag. The rifle disappeared and lives were saved. And another thing happened. Soldiers discovered they now had better balance were better organized, and were more confident. It wasn't long before snipers and marksmen all over the world were going to war the Eberly Stock way, biathlon style, with rifles on their backs and their hands ready to fight. So this is a reminder that there are people fighting the good fight for the right, authentic reasons. Ours is a story about that word, authenticity about self-reliance, balance, and a calm focus. And an ethic that says, that's not good enough, make it better. And the next time, make it better still. 
We exist to remind people about excellence, purpose, versatility, and value. Eberly Stock. Get out there.